This is Rai, the Italian radio and television network. This program is being broadcast in English language to our listeners in North America. This program is coming to you over the short wave lengths of 49.92, 31.01, and 25.42 meters, corresponding to kilohertz 6010, 9675, and 11800. And here is Rye International's newscast from Italy. Hello there, everyone. And for a look at the major news items we have for you today, we'll be opening our bulletin with reports on the dramatic attacks in New York city in Washington, which brought reactions of shock, indignation, and solidarity in Italy. President Trump has sent a message of sympathy and solidarity to President Bush, and emergency, emergency measures were taken at all Italian airports. We we'll also have reports on the NATO summit, which will be held at the Air Force Academy in Pozzuoli on September the 26th and 27th. And here is the news. We are by your side, were a few of the words contained in the message sent by Italian President Carlo de Ciampi to his U.S. counterpart, George W. Bush. Ciampi added that there are no words which can fully express his shock and horror for the attacks against the United States, which directly touch the entire international community. Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi said in a telephone conversation with President Bush that he is shocked by the terrifying and mad terror act which has struck the people of a nation that is a friend and the conscience of the entire world. According to Foreign Minister Renato Ruggiero, this is a terrible tragedy that places in jeopardy principles of civil coexistence and peace in the world. In sign of solidarity with the American government and people, the Italian Parliament suspended its session this afternoon as soon as news came in of the terror attacks in New York City and Washington. Among the first to comment on the tragedy in the United States and on opposition members was their leader Francesco Rutelli. He said that both the houses of the Italian Parliament are united with the European Union in expressing their solidarity with the American people and democracy so cruelly hurt today. President of the EU Commission, Romano Prodi, has declared on behalf of the European Union that he has been horrified by the terrifying tra tragedies in New York and Washington, firmly condemning the barbaric acts which have cowardly struck Innocent civilians, Prodi presented his condolences to the American nation. The EU is set to hold an emergency meeting on Wednesday, and Maximum Alert is also holding at Brussels, where the buildings of the Council of EU Ministers and NATO have been evacuated. The Council of Europe, to which 43 countries of the old continent, including Russia, belong, declared on Tuesday afternoon that it has been terrified by the horrendous attacks which have shocked the United States and the entire world. A council which hosted, which hoisted its flag at half-mast in sign of mourning added that these attacks reveal an unacceptable strategy of war. A red alert has gone off in American military bases in Europe where special security measures have been implemented for guaranteeing the safety and well-being of military personnel and their families. This has been disclosed by the European Command of the U.S. Armed Forces in Europe. The Summit of NATO Defense Ministers will be held in Pozzuoli, near Naples, at the headquarters of the Air Force Academy on September the 26th and 27th. 
The official decision was announced by Defense Minister Antonio Mastino during a mini summit of the NATO Defense Chief of Staff gathered in Pozzuoli for the 143rd Assembly of the Military Committee. During the meeting, subjects which will be debated during the summit at the end of September were addressed. The peace missions to the Balkans, in particular the one underway in Macedonia, relations between NATO and the new European Rapid Reaction Force, the restructuring of the military system of the Atlantic Alliance, and the U.S. anti-missile defense system. 7,500 officers will guarantee public order and security at the NATO summit. Anti-globalization associations have announced a week of protests in Naples. The FAO Food Summit scheduled for November the 5th and 9th, uh, from November the 5th to 9th, still has no venue, also, although a decision on where it will be held is expected any moment. The mixed commission, made up of representatives of the Italian government and officials of the UN agency, the FAO, has ended its visits to candidate cities, Fuji, Rimini, Montecatini, Chianciano, and Brindisi, and should elaborate a proposal by Wednesday, which will then be examined by the Italian government and the FAO Council. According to unofficial reports, the chosen town could be Rimini, which provides easy access, hotels, and the ability to guarantee maximum security. I would like to remind you that you have tuned in to Ride to National Broadcasting from Rome over the shortwave lengths. If you'd like to write to us to let us know that you are there listening in, do drop us a line. Our mailing address is Radio Roma, PO Box 320, zip code 00100, Rome. For those others who would like to fax us, the number is area code for Rome, Italy 3317, 3906-3317-1895. And now back to the news of today. There was a new bomb alert on Monday in Florence. An explosive, a big pardon, a package bomb was delivered to the prefect of the city, Achille Serza. The device, the explosive device, could have exploded, causing enormous damage. Fortunately, disaster was avoided thanks to the caution of the prefect's secretarial office which, suspicious about the package, immediately opened the package with great care and caution. Tuesday's was the second planned attack in Florence in just a few weeks, but the two incidents appear to be unrelated. A joint operation by the police and the Carabinieri military police is underway since the first hours of the morning against robberies taking place, in, taking place in the villas of the Piacenza area. The operation involves some 300 officers carrying out arrests for criminal activity aimed at thefts and lootings in apartments in isolated villas. 27 house houses have been raided by the police. The operation is part of initiatives aimed at bringing an end to the phenomenon of gangs generally made up of organized crime members from the Balkans and which involves the northeastern part of Italy, home to some of the richest families in the country. The District Attorney's Office of Santa Maria Capuavetere in the Campania region of